Oh boy, what do I have in front of me, you're probably saying. Hey guys, it's Crystal with Art It Out, and I have grabbed and heaped up all of my water-soluble items. Um, you guys know I got my Stabella 3-in-1 um, Woodies. I did um, use recently. You know, I love my gelatos. But, you know, I have other things that I just don't seem to use much. Um, because I have them in a drawer. And you guys know me, if I don't see it, I don't use it. It's one of those things. So, but this is getting beyond the point. <laughs> I've been asked a lot of questions with the, um, the three-in-one woodies about movement, about things like that. Um, and kind of questions, you guys know I, I have no problem answering questions. But questions are like mice. If you see one, you actually have at least three. And um, those are the statistics just for you guys to know. So, if there's one person asking a question, there I'm sure is more thinking but not asking. So, I said, what the hell? Got them all together. And we're going to do kind of a little play and show you um, what the difference between kind of the... I did one before on the gelatos and the distress crowns. And I think I even did one with the recollections. Okay, those are all creamy, movable, yummy goodness. Um, and need none of these the, are permanent unless you put a spray to fix it on it, okay? Then we have, of course, my Stabello 3-in-1 Woodies we will talk more about. We have Diane Wakely's Media Scribble Sticks I've had for a while. I love playing with them, but then I put them in a drawer and they're not there so I don't grab for them. So, I'm thinking of how to get this stuff out, put them together of some sort. But anyways, my first and all-time first love was my Neo Color 2s. Um, yes, I only have 10. Um, <laughs> I would absolutely love to have the bigger sets, but they're pricey and they're not on sale very rarely and if they are I usually don't have the money so there you go and then one of the newer ones too I got um, a while back and I got them from Blitzy for really cheap water soluble oil pastels from Prima I haven't played with these much because why I put them in my door um, I do it too guys so what I got out we're going to uh, do like a little grid here I got set up and um, yeah we're going to I'm going to show you guys and the reason, the reason why I'm doing this is because I do have a lot of newbies um, to mix media to art in general and they're asking questions and that's great and I'm trying anything I can do to help you guys out I think this is a good way to kind of show you the difference between the products um, visually show you and tell you what I feel about them and maybe that can help you understand um, maybe what you're wanting to get or what you're wanting not to get. So let me get these all put away. I'm going to pick like two colors of each because it's, you know, um, to kind of show a difference with. But let's have fun, guys. We're going to throw some gesso down on some. We're not going to use water on others. We're just going to see if they move, if they move, if they play, if you can work on top of them, you know, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Okay guys, um, normally I would gesso off camera, but I wanted to show you guys what I was using, just, just to show you, um, <laughs> because there's always that person out there like, well, I didn't see you do it, so, you know, you know, and I am not getting paid one tally by doing this, I bought all this stuff with my own hard-earned money from selling stuff on my store, um, to my hubby buying it for, like, my birthday or something, so. These last two rolls are the ones I'm going to put gesso in um, for the gesso part. And this is just the, let me see if I can find the thing to this. And I'll show you what kind of paper it is. Maybe. Oh, there it is. It is just this brand, the extra large mixed media. Um, it's the bigger one, but same brand. So that way you know. Um, I don't put a lot usually, and I'm not going to do a lot here anymore. I can always put more. Where's my card? Okay. So I'm just going to just sew these two boxes here. We're probably going to lose some of the 
the mark on it, and that's all right. I'm not. It's just a test, so I'm not wanting it to be perfect. Um, so, as long as we can kind of see through it, that's all right. All right. Alrighty. Now I am going to get off camera and dry this. Um, I do apologize for Sweetie snoring in the background. Um, she is an English bulldog and they snore a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let me get this. Turn that down. Alright, so are we ready? Hopefully, this will help clarify things for a few of you. Um, let's do the, I'm trying to go with the green and the blue, purple, kind of this color. Um, a couple of them didn't have it, so whatever, work, work with what we got. So, first one is just plain old, um, let me wipe that off, that one had a color on it. Plain old, just by itself, nothing on the paper. And we're not going to watercolor or nothing, okay? So there they are. My fingers dry. I haven't used anything. And we're just going to rubby, rubby, rubby. So they move. The gelatos move. Um, they do not move tons right there. But they will down here. I guarantee it. So let's show you on the gessoed part. Because, like I said, I've done this type of test with the gelato before. Mm, excuse me. And, um... See yeah, how much smoother and the color is just so much pretty. Blends more. I mean, pretty. Alright, so. Next is the Distress Crown by themselves. Um, I do not own a lot of the Distress Crowns. Um... I went with the, kind of the gelato first, I, you know, I shopped around, debated, and, you know, that's just what I went for. My fingers are dry, just my finger, just trying to move it, the distress crown ain't going very far. Okay, and, uh, they're both, these are both really smooth, I gotta say, let me put a little more in there. My fingers. Now, gessoed, it moves. So you can see that. It moves on the gesso. Um, this test is not about the difference. It's just trying to give you guys a little look of what the difference of them are. Like I said, a lot of you guys are new and you're like, well, does this do that? Does, well, this will hopefully answer your question. Now, these are Recollections, which are um, Michael's here in the United States. Michael's brand is Recollections Hobby Store. So, and these are a fraction of the price of those. Okay, so regular, um, regular old, plain old. Uh, and it's fun because I like the different ones. Let me get a clean finger. Um... Now those moved, but not a lot. Um, I like, let me wipe these off and dry them off. I like the difference because these are all almost the same. There are some differences, um, but in the colorings, you know, some of them have different colors, the others don't. Um, yeah. And these are considered, these are considered um, gel crowns. So, now this one is on the... So pretty. It, it moves. It's very creamy. So, color-wise, they're about the same besides the green on the gelato. I have another one that's more like that. I just couldn't find it. So, All right, so keep going with the non-water test right now. What are we on? Neocolor? Okay, now the Neocolors here, I do not... I have the plain set, so I can mix the green and the green and yellow to get this color but I'm not gonna because it kind of defeats the purpose of this test so I'm just gonna do it like this and these are just straight off straight off off of them and there are no movement these are not made to do that 
Um, these are made to use with water. Um, of course, you can use them as like the crowny area, but very much are water soluble. I mean, I am pushing and I'm bare. You getting mainly it's the oils off my fingers that's moving them. So those are non-movable, um, basically non-movable ones. So, let's see. Next is the scribble stick. Scribble, scribble, where are they? Okay, now these, by themselves. You know, these you gotta really push, guys. Really push. Um, there is no movement by themselves dry there. And you're not gonna get any really any movement down here either, see? So dry both of those because these are not creamy gel, gel crowns-ish. These are pigment sticks. Um, these they call pigment sticks. And these are walls. Blah, 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 blah. The neocolors are actually what they call them is water soluble wax pastels. Which is funny because the next thing we're going to do is water soluble oil pastels. Okay, but these are creamy. Kind of like the gelatos and the distress crowns and stuff. Not quite to that extent. But they are creamy. Okay. And look, you can move these. You can move these a little bit. I mean, I'm pushing hard, guys. So don't, don't think it's like, ooh, it's going on easy. Um, the magic's going to be on most of these. Especially these lighter ones when we actually add water. So... So there's movement, but not a lot. Okay, these are ones that you really need the water for to use. Okay. Last one on the dry. Whew. I do not have a purple woody. I got the small set because I couldn't afford the bigger set. Which I'm kicking me myself in the butt for, I don't know, not beg, barn and stealing to get. Because they have so many more colors in. But hey, you know, you deal with what you got. So there's the green, we did blue this time so they don't have the purple. And these, they move a little bit guys, not a lot. Barely really any. Um, but you can smudge them. So you could do like a smudgy line with them. Um, of course here it is with, I'm using my other hand. This is with the gelato, or just a page. So you could do a smudgy line, which I did I think when we played with them. So. Let me go wash my hands, dry them really good before I get all the colors off, and then we're going to go to actually playing with water on top, and then we're going to dry them up and actually take some matte gel and go over them, see which one smudges. Alright guys, are we ready for the water test? And then we're going to try putting stuff over the top to see if they smooshy smoosh. Yeah, and that's a technical term. <laughs> Alright guys. Let's get this potty started. I'm going to do this a little bit different here. Up. Uh, there we go. Now, I'm going to use my finger to show you. You can just wet your finger and use them. They work spectacular like that. Or you can use a water brush or a water, just water, um... I'm going to use my water brush because that's what I prefer, the preferred method for me. But for my daughters, I like to use my finger. That's just how I am. Get this clean. Alright, so now we're going to use, you see how they, wor they work perfect, good. Um, I'm trying to put a little bit more on this time on all of them. There you go. Once again, using my finger, I'm just going to kind of go, I'm mixing them, I don't care. They move really extremely well on a gelata edge. <laughs> gessoed page, so, very much so. They work awesome on gessoed. But, even on non-gessoed, wet, they move, not so much, they, they move either way. Because of their creamy texture. Now here's one you guys are going to, if you haven't really played with them, we'll see. 
the green here. I'm going to put a bigger strip. I got to say, product-wise, when you lay it down like this, the, the Distress Crowns go quickly. Finger, once again, I'm just going to go... Technical term there. Let me remove these. There we go. So, and then brush. Will work too. Now this is remember non. Um, just so page, so you can still see the lines of the of the distress um, on the non gesso, but it spreads so. Very much so one that you want to use, in my opinion, with water, because it doesn't really do much without. Um, but I would assume you're buying these to use them with hot water, you know. We're just going to go to the green with my finger. There we go. Wipe it off. And the purple. This is the gesso, remember. So, I would say, your Distress Crowns, make sure you just sew your page, or you're not going to get movement out of crud. Because it looks a lot smoother, see how rough, you can still see the markings here, you can't. What you see is my brush, my brushy brushes. So, next, Recollections. Same thing, let's do this real quick here. And I will say, if you leave them set and then go, they're not going to move as much because they're going to dry a little bit. But that's on any of your, um, any of these three, they're going to be like that. So, um, get my finger, finger wet, do the green on the front green here. Wonderful, beautiful. And the green smells because it's one of the scented ones. So if you want a scented one, <laughs> go with that. Oh, I just got water everywhere. Um, these are very much the more you use. I'm just going to go over there just because I can. Um, why not? I got water everywhere. <laughs> so very much it moves with the water on a non... Um, a non... Plain old basic page. Of course, these are the mixed media pages, so... You have, the, you have the cheap, cheaper paper, of course, you're going to get a different reaction, guys. You know that. So, there's that one. And then, finger. Blend in. Get some good brown there. I just got that all over me, which is super. Okay. So, now to the Neo colors that didn't do it, anything at all by themselves. You're going to see, if I can find them, <laughs> see them. This is the plane. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put them both down because these don't dry, or like these don't dry out. They're just like this all the time. Okay? So. There we go. We're just going to... So you can finger move them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm laughing. I'm silly. Um, and you can move them with a brush. And they, they do blend really, really good. I make a really nice um, face color, flesh tone for me um, out of the um, Neo Colors. This is gelato or gessoed. It works fantastic, even blends even better. Beautiful. You get some new colors there. Like I said, they blend beautifully. <clears throat> Let's see here. What's on? Scribble sticks. Let me see what our time is. Okay. Okay, scribble sticks. Same thing. I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna go for it because... Um, they don't dry out, so. Get 
They get you get what you get. Okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna do down here. I do the green with my finger. Fun. Oh, super. There's your green. See how bright it is. Oh man, it just activates up. Just so cool. Very bright. Very pretty. Okay. What are we at? What are we at? I'm looking and they're right in front of me. I'm like, where are this? Where'd those run off to? <laughs> Now these are like this, so of course they're not going to dry out either, so I'm going to put some of them both on areas here. And you really don't seem to need much of these last ones. Using the brush, and this is the Nun Gesso, my finger. Of course, finger I'm put, I can put more pressure, so I'm able to move it more. brush down here. Look how smooth it goes out here. What I'm curious to see, I'm sure you all are too, is to see which ones move after they dry. So which ones are the ones are you going to have to put a fixative over? Which ones are you not going to have to put something over? That's what this test is really, really, really about. Um, of course, I kind of know what's going to happen because I play with these things, but you never know. Same with this. The woody doesn't dry out, so such a fun name. Woody, 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 woody. <laughs> Finger on the green. It did, but not. You still see some lines. Let's do this one, and you can't see any lines there. Brush. I'm assuming same thing. Remember the the three in one woody is a Stabello product so just to let you know if you didn't catch that some fun love it awesome all right so we are going to I am going to if I can find my lid I'm going to dry these thoroughly so I will be back once I have them completely dry all right guys so I was debating how to do this test <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my watercolor pen, um, mm -hmm, this, make sure it's all good, no color. So I'm going to sweep across, one dry, one without. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the dryness. I mean, I guess we can. And then I'm going to mark on here. So it should, if it's going to move, it's going to pick up the water from it. So, one, two, three. Okay, see, we picked up color, and you can see it moved, okay? Um, one, two, three, barely anything, um, no movement, let me try, some, there you go, I had to go over a couple times. So we're getting movement from the dog, which I already knew that, I'm not even going to bother down there. The Distress Crowns, I'm not going to bother those because they're not wet, so I'm just going to be reactivating them, so obviously. But down here, let's see. Eh. I know you can move them, but not a lot. That's the non-gesso. Let's try down here. Now see the gesso page, it picked up and moved. Okay. Recollections, which is the... Um, you get a little bit, not a lot. Now off the, off the, now off this, where it's been gessoed, you get quite a bit, so. Hmm. Once again, let's try here. A little bit movement, not a lot. I mean, I'm really having to really go over it to get it to move, so. I think, and I've used these before and had very, I mean, you really have to put a lot on there to get them to move. The scribble sticks, um, they move. 
But I gotta say, they don't move tons. Um, with paint and stuff, you can go right over them. It really doesn't move them, but water does. Water soluble here, let's see here. Those are barely moving at all. And on the gessoed, um, barely any movement. So that's good. Now here's the three-in-one Stabello, see? Now, the Stabello that I, the black one that I have, um, once it's dry, it doesn't really move, but these are moving, so. But, I used them on my page, and I didn't have... I could still see it through the page. So they're moving, but not horrible. So we had a little movement. Um, but basically, if you're going to want to use these, layer them. Um, the gelato, the distress, the recollections, those, you're going to want to spray a fixative. I use cheaply a Mod Podge Matte Clear Acrylic Siller. I get this at Walmart for like five bucks. You do not have to use that one. There are kinds of sealers. But you're going to want to use a spray and not one you rub. Now the Neo Colors, the Scribble Sticks, the Water Pastel Oils, and the 3-in-1 Woodies. Um, I'll have to say the Neo Colors and Scribble Sticks are semi-permanent. You can put stuff over them. Um, layering, they, they layer pretty nicely. Um... The water solubles and the three in one woodies. Um, if you want to do layers, I would recommend spraying. But if you're like literally, you you see me play with them the other day. Um, I love the three in one woodies because they left an impression even after I put stuff on top. It was great. Um, I do want to share with one quick thing that you can do, guys, with your goodies. If you haven't, the neo colors you can take. Sorry, guys. And put put it in the water. Just dip it and right. So you can do that with all of them. See now it's already dry. So the scribble sticks is one of the things that's great about these. Is the and you get like the paint look. I love 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 that. Now the oil pastels. I don't think you can really. Um, not really. You can, but not as cool as, in my opinion, as the other two. Let's try the um, Cabela All here. Eh, it works, but it's not as good as those two. I don't. I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm doing it. I just barely touched my distress, so you can do it in water. I, I really don't think it would. You're gonna get much of a coolness out of it besides waste it. But hey, you can try. <laughs> I'm gonna do it just for purposes. So see, you can do it, but they're not cool like those. So I wouldn't recommend it for those types. I'm not even gonna use my fabric Castell like that because I don't. I love them too much to play with them like that. So <laughs> just a heads up on some of those, like the Neo Colors and the Scribble Sticks and the Oil Pastels, um, the Water Soluble Oil Pastels. You can kind of do that with. But I hope this helped. Um, anybody out there um, that was asking about creaminess, you know, um, do they move, do they, you know, really all of these, none of them say they're permanent, they don't, um, some are more so permanent than others, but any of the gel crowns, these type of, if they're creamy and ooey gooey, you're gonna have to layer you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna have to use a fixative over them and don't put any more water for it to stay. But they're oh so fun to play with, guys. Um, the uh, sticks, the scribble sticks, the neo colors, um, those are, they're lovely. I love these are the neo colors, too. So, my first really water soluble type of thing like this. And I love them. Love them, love them. Like I said, I would probably sell my hubby for the big set. So. <laughs> but, um, and one of these days I will have them. But, yes, I love them. I love using them. You can blend your colors and your lids. They're great fun. You can actually just use them. 
pretty much all of these, besides I think the woodies, you can literally take, oh, that's a, that is not a neo color. You can take it and use it like a watercolor like that. Okay. You can do that with the scribble sticks. I really love the scribble sticks. I hope she comes out with some more colors. And I think that's why I don't play with them a lot. Um, because there's not a lot of colors. So you can have fun with those too. You can draw with them and use the water. Um, the, let me see here. The gelatos and stuff, you can wet them on your brush, see? But it's not really for that. That's not really, you're not going to get what you're looking for. These are a put them down, smoosh them, you know. You guys have seen me play with them. Uh, the Distress Crowns are kind of like the Gelatos. It's just size difference, basically. Um, and these Distress Crowns work with their products more. Um, so, if, I'm, if I was starting out... And I had, which one of these would I personally buy? Starting out for a low in, low budget, go with the Recollections if you can. You get more bang for your buck all the time. And you can't beat, their colors are great. They have um, a good selection, but nothing huge. Um, and between the Distress, and I have them both, but I have more of the Fabrica stuff. The only ones I've bought, and I bought a pack to try these, but I have picked up a few of the colors that I actually like, um, are the ones that I don't have in the Fabrica styles. So, I just love playing with these. And when you find them really, really cheap, it's kind of like, why not? So, um, I haven't, I can't really say much about these water soil oil pastels. I think I got these, like I said, on Blitzy. I know they have them on... Amazon, I know, um, but I think I got a better deal on Blitzy. And this was a while back, guys, so I don't even know if they carry them. Um, I got my scribble sticks. I ordered them from a weird site. I've never been back to it when they first came out. You can get these now. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. Go in there with your 40% off coupon. That's how you do that shit, guys. Alright, guys, I don't know where it shut off on me, and I do apologize. <laughs> So one thing about my camera, I do not like it only does it in 10 minute bursts. I'm going to get a new one as soon as I start saving money and quit spending it <laughs> on art supplies at that. So, I hope you guys found this informative. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them. I am no, but, no way, no how, am a professional. You all know that. Never took a course. Um... I go by the seat of my pants, and you know what? That's how life is, so why not do it in your art? So, there you go, guys. I hope it helps. Um, I hope it didn't confuse any more than others. It's all about, really, what price range you're wanting to go to for certain things. Um, you know, between the gelatos, this dress, and recollection, those are all pretty much the same thing. You can't afford you obviously I didn't buy all three at once I started with one slowly grew my my stash of them then thought oh let's pick a couple of those up or oh those were on extreme clearance you know so that's how I collected but I don't have all three's colors you know um, the Neo Color Choose, this is the first thing I bought and started off with in this type of set I love 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 it it is an expensive product um, but they last. Oh my gosh. I have used the holy heck out of these. And look. They last. So they're worth the money. Michaels has these. Hobby, Lo or Hobby Lobby I know has these. I don't know about Michaels. But use your 40% off. You get them cheap. Fun. Fun tool to have. And they are really reasonably priced. I wish they come up with more. These are fun. I can't say much, though. I haven't really played with them. That's why I'm reorganizing to try to get this stuff out for me to play with. Because you guys know me. I see it, I use it. If it's put away, I don't. So, there we go. And, of course, these. I don't know why I love these so much. Um, well, for one, I know. They do. You can put these on. That's another aspect. On, like, your already your painted surface. These, you guys seen, work awesome. Um, 
Not so much. These don't really work too well on top of painted surfaces. They do, but the color's not like, boom. These is one of the things she um, raised about and one of the things she really um, wanted, and they do work, is to use these on top of your art. They do work. Um, not so much these. You're going to get shadings and fun. Um, some of the colors you'll see brilliantly. Some of them you won't. Depends on the paint you're using and whatnot. So, there you go. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I probably repeated. Thank you once again for watching me and hanging in there with me. I've been having so much fun. I do apologize for not putting as many art videos out lately. Um, a few things going around in my house and just hasn't been able to. Um, but, I had a lot of questions on a couple of these products and I wanted to share with you. This is me. My opinions. I'm not getting paid by anybody. This is just me. Everybody else's opinions are their own. So I don't want anybody saying, well, I use these and I like them better. Well, good for you. Everybody's different, guys. This is just kind of a a little looky-see, um, and there you go. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, gosh, guys. Happiness to you. Go make a mess and art it out, guys. Bye!